Hi, my name is Chris Chen, and I'm going to show you today what the inside of my family's modern hog farm looks like. Because of our biosecurity policy, which means how clean we keep our farm, not many people are able to see inside of a modern hog farm. I also want to show you the great care that we take for our animals and the care that we take for our environment. So let's go. So first, let's talk about our environment. My family farm is regulated by the Environmental Protection Agency and the Department of Natural Resources, but my family farm goes above and beyond these regulations by having a comprehensive nutrient management plan as well as an environmental management system in place to protect our environment and to ensure continual quality improvements. We monitor daily rainfall, we test our soil, and we test our water. And before we inject our nutrients into our soil, we test the nutrient as well. This is also a good way to recycle our natural resources because not only are we protecting our environment, but we're recycling the waste from our hogs as natural fertilizer for the lush green wheat that you see right around me. Next, I'm going to give you a tour of our gilt developer barn. This is where we bring our gilts in as small pigs and we raise them until they're big enough to be bred. So come on inside and I'll give you a look. As farmers, we care about the well-being of our animal. It's our top priority. Everything we do on our farm revolves around the welfare of my animal. And we have a nutritionist who designs the diet specifically for our hogs. We use a veterinarian um, to come in and give us hands-on care and help us with the management of the care of our animals. So right now we're inside one of my pig barns. Um, as you can see, our animals are in individual pens. This allows us to keep track of how much feed each animal gets. Um, what you see right here, this is our feed dump. We're able to measure how many pounds of feed each animal gets. Um, this is a good way to care for our animals because we know how much feed they're getting. If this animal isn't eating her feed, we know right away. And if we need to get the veterinarian in here to look at her, we can get him here immediately. We also um, are able to make sure that we don't have a bully sow by keeping them in their individualized pens. Um, a bully sow, because of the sow's dominant nature, um, will keep other sows from eating. And a sow is just a female hog who has given birth before. Right now you're inside one of our finisher barns. This is where we bring the pigs to finish them out until their market size. They'll come into this barn when they weigh about 50 pounds and they'll leave when they weigh about 250 pounds. We care about our animals being comfortable, so that's why we put them inside this facility. We have fans to keep them cool in the summertime. It's a computer controlled climate system which means we have heaters for in the winter and the fans for in the summer. Since a hog can't sweat, we also have drippers in this barn that will drip cool water down onto the animal to also keep them comfortable. We monitor all the feed that they intake and we give them individualized care as well. We're able to see if an animal is sick and we give them the care that they need. We don't use antibiotics unless it's absolutely necessary. Um, to improve the quality of life for our animal. Antibiotics are extremely expensive, so we only use them when absolutely necessary. In the farrowing room, this is where the sow will come to give birth to the baby pigs. Um, every farrowing room has an individual pen for each sow to lay down and give birth so that she's comfortable. No other sow can come and step on her. This allows for the sow to concentrate on giving birth without having to be worried about being stepped on. It also keeps the baby pigs from being stepped on by other sows as well. Each pen has a heat lamp which provides added warmth for the newborn pigs. As the pig grows we will raise that heat lamp up because they won't need as, ex as much extra heat. Each sow gets a bath prior to coming into the farrowing house to give birth. We do this not only for the comfort of our sow, but also to prevent any chance of infection during the birthing process. We have an attendant on hand at every farrowing in case the sow might need um, some assistance in giving birth to the pigs. As you can see, the environment inside my hog barns is a safe place for my children to be. I'm so sure that it's safe that we built our house within 150 yards of our hog barns. As a mother, it's important to me that I feed my children a safe, healthy, nutritious product. And I want the same thing for your family too. So you can rest assured the next time you go to the grocery store and you buy a package of pork, that it was produced by a farmer who cares and that it's safe to feed your family.